Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well today. Today I will be bringing you a haul video. First off, I want to say welcome and welcome back. Thank you to all my subscribers and for those of you that are continuing to view my videos, I'm going to ask that you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Today I will be sharing um, some items that I picked up, just various different items. I guess you could call this a random haul. So we'll just start. And the first thing we have here is this cute little ice cream cone, which is actually a highlighter. I'm going to take one out the package so you guys can see it. Okay, you just open it, twist the top off there, and that's in the pink color. I just thought this was really cute and fun to have. And I did pick these up in two other colors. I got them in the green and also in a yellow. Okay, and the next one is a highlighter also. It looks like the little popsicle or ice cream bar. And it's the same way as the little pink. I think that's a pink. I haven't tried it. Let's see. Okay, it does write in the light pink color. And I picked these up in several different colors too. And they were priced at $0.50 cent each. But when we got to the register, they were, were ringing up at $0.38. Cent. So I did get that in the green, yellow, the purple, and like a light orange color. And I picked up several of those. Some for myself and some I may be issuing in friend mail or little gifts i picked up these and i just thought they were i don't know what i'm gonna do with them i may write with them i may not i may give them out to my little nieces or somebody but i just thought these was really cute the jumbo pencils and with the hello kitty print on them and they come with the pencil sharpener also and i picked these up i believe they were three dollars a piece from the dollar general and I did grab two of those. Okay, and I think that's everything from Dollar General. So we'll be moving to TJ Maxx, where I believe the bulk of... No, we'll do Burks, since I only have a couple of items from there. I was able to pick up this cute little wristlet here. They go along with the little bag that's trending the minute, the poor bucket bag. And the name on this one is the pink polka dot card case and it does come with the little bracelet and the little key ring and tassel if you want to carry it that way next I have the wristlet it does have the hard print on here and you have the outer zipper pocket here on the outside it's pink on the inside and it's not really it's like a mauve or a blush pink I would say you do have a zip compartment on the inside along with a slip pocket on that side. And this one is called the Valentine's Wallet Carnation Pink Hearts. And it does have the removable wristlet strap on there. And I didn't show you guys the setup of this one. It just has the ID window here on the back. In the front, you have the snap closure with two card slots. And I just thought those were cute. Moving to TJ Maxx. All right, the first thing I picked up from there was this cute little hand cream. And it comes in the little apple-shaped container, and it was on clearance for $4.50. So I grabbed it, and this is how it's made. Looks like a little apple. I thought that was cute, something different to have. And it smells really good. It's in, let me see, it says a fragrance. It does not. It just says red apple hand cream. And it comes like packaged like this. Yes, and it just has a real clean smell to it. I thought this was really cute.
Okay, next from TJ Maxx, I picked up this uh, flawless new razor. I paid $12.99 for this one. And this one is, it says 18 karat gold plated with a built-in light. And it is rechargeable. It does come with a USB charging cord. Okay. All right. The next thing from TJ Maxx will be this clueless makeup bag. And it's made by Revolution. And I just thought it was cute. I like the colors on it. It has like a flannel material. The price on this one was $2.99. And on the inside, it's just, you can have the black wipeable material. All right, the next thing we have is a little makeup palette by Revolution. And it says 90s baby. Now, I had my daughter in mind when I picked this up, and I thought she would like it, but she did not. So, I'm kind of stuck with it, but I don't mind. I do like the colors. And that's the packaging on that. And those are the colors. All right, and I just thought it was cute, and it went well with the makeup bag. So, I don't know. I may keep it. I may decide to gift it. I don't know. But it was... $3.99. The next thing I grabbed was this cute, the little arch shaping razors in the Hello Kitty. And it comes in the different colors. You have the red and then the different shades of pink and then the white. And I picked these up for $5.99. I know we've seen these before, but they kind of disappeared in our stores and I'm starting to see them again. I grabbed this Kawaii Peach Hand Cream by the Crim Shop and it has Hello Kitty on it. I'll take it out so you guys can see it. It's in the pink and white packaging. I thought that was cute. And she's holding a little peach. All right, I picked up another one, the My Melody Hand Cream, and it's in the strawberry cake scent. And I'll take it out so you guys can see it. And both of these were $5.99. I don't know if I said it with the first one or not, but that's the price on them. And that's how that packaging is looking on there. And it says limited edition, so... But I saw these earlier, I believe, before Christmas or sometime. Maybe not in the My Melody, but other ones maybe. Next, I picked up this Too Faced Lip Injection, the Extreme. And it is in the, I want to say the clear. Let me take it out and see. Okay, yes, this one is in the clear. And that's the packaging on that. And I paid $9.99 for this one. Moving along to the next item, I picked up this cute little Michaela lip set by Glam Light. And I just thought the packaging was really pretty on here. And I paid $5.99 for this. And I'll take it out so you guys can see it. And I thought these were really cute. And you have three in here. And you have like the little, I guess it's the clear or the silver with the shimmer in it, the gold, and then another silver one. And I just thought these were really pretty. The packaging is what got me on this. Okay, the next thing from TJ Maxx is going to be these little hand soaps I picked up. Now, I can't pronounce that name, but I'll... Try to get it in close enough for you guys to see it. If you're interested, I did pick up two of these. One is in the milk and honey. And the other one is in the almond scent. And they smell really good, guys. I like both of these. And I paid $4.99 each. I 
think that's everything from TJ Maxx. I picked up one item from Burlington, and it's this um, set of three AirPod cases. And I just love the colors in here, all the bright, vibrant, the pink, the blue, and the purple. And I paid uh, $5.99 for this. All right. Now, that's everything I have as far as the little miscellaneous items. I'm going to clear this stuff away, and I'm going to come back and share with you the purses that I picked up. Okay, guys, I'm back. I made some room so that I can place these purses, so we'll just move right along. I grabbed this one here from the Burks Outlet, and this is a pretty Steve Madden bag. And if I don't keep this for myself, you guys already know who it's for. Those of you that watch me and have been following me for a while, you know who my Steve Madden fan is. So I just thought this was really cute. Um, it has the soft quilted feel to it. It has the Steve Madden here in the silver. You have a silver chain attached here on the front. It does have the flap open enclosure, which I'm trying to work my way with. Trying to get myself used to having them. Not, they're not as bad. I just don't. They wouldn't be my go-to bags. But I think I'm getting used to the idea of the flap open and closure. And here on the inside, you have two sections. In the back section, you have a zip compartment here. And in the front, you have two slip pockets here. One on this side and one on this side. And then you have the black lining with the Steve Madden printed all over it. i give you a look around the outside of the bag okay that's the front and the sides and that's the back and i kind of wish they had a pocket on the back but it's fine and there's the bottom and it's really soft squishy now the uh longer strap for me is not long enough the way I would wear my crossbody is not long enough for me, but it is adjustable and it's also removable. So if you want, you could take this longer strap off and add another one to it. Okay, that's the first bag. Next, another Juicy Couture, and this is the barrel bag. The same print, same color as the satchel that I just showed. And hauled, and I also have a crossbody in this same style with the large print. So I thought this was really cute. It's summertime, guys. So me, I don't want to be walking around with a lot of big bags unless I have to, or all day outing or something like that. That's different. But just quick errands and quick outings, I prefer to have the smaller bag. And that's the information on that for those of you that may be interested. And again, I grabbed this from Burlington, and the price on here was $19.99. And I will <laughs> remove this strap. I already have a black wide strap with the gold hardware on there that I plan on adding to this. The inside of it is the same setup with the black and white gothic print. You do have a zipper here in the back. And the front. You do have a, slot, a little slip pocket here, and it's just one long slip pocket all the way across. Okay. The next bag I have for you guys is this one here, which is another Steve Madden, and I thought this one was just really cute. I like that it has the darker brass gold on here. Versus the shiny gold. And what sold me on this bag was the strap itself. It has that partial gold and leather strap, which is adjustable. I hope you guys are seeing that. And I love this little lock that it has here on the strap. Okay. These straps are removable. And it does come with a little card case attached to the bag that you can also remove, place it inside the bag or carry it along if you wanted to. And I'll take some of this stuff out so you guys can see the inside. And there on the inside, you just have a black hole. There aren't any pockets or zippers on the inside. 
but I thought this one was cute and it was on clearance for $24 from TJ Maxx. And this last little cutie, I picked it up because I thought it would just be fun for the summertime. Quick grab and go. Wear with your jean shorts or I have a couple of uh, blue jean sundresses that I probably would put with mine. Okay, and I picked this one up. It's a small little bag. It's a probably about eight inches wide and maybe about six inches tall, which is large enough for me. My cell phone fits with no problem, so that's a plus. It does come with this wide strap on the outside if you want to wear it as a crossbody. And you have the, the brown top handle straps here on the top. You have the gold hardware. The inside of the bag is like a charcoal black maybe. It's not really black. It's, it's showing black but it looks like a dark dark gray. And you do have a zip compartment here at the back on the inside. I just thought this was really cute. And it's not in that denim. It feels kind of like a faux leather or canvas material. So that's the sides of the bag, the back, and the bottom. My cell phone does go in here without any problem. It fits. There's plenty of room on the sides when I drop it down in here. And I grab this little wallet I thought would be cute with it as well. This wallet is well, I didn't give you the information on the bag. I don't know the name of it. Okay, it just says vegan on the tag. And I picked it up from Ross for $12.99. Okay. Now my phone is still in here. I picked up this cute little wallet also. This is a Tommy Hill figure wallet. I haven't bought any Tommy items in a while. So I thought this one would be cute to the bag. It was $14.99 from Ross. You have a back zipper here on the back. Snap open and closure. And here you have one, two, three, four, five card slots. A slit here on the side, one here. And over here you have your ID window along with one, two, three card slots. So plenty of space, plenty of room. And I just thought that it would match the bag really well since it picks up the light color in the strap along with the dark brown in the top handle. So... That's that. That's how I plan on carrying it. You guys will see it in an upcoming What's in My Bag soon. And to show you that it does fit, it is kind of a large wallet, but it does fit in here with no problem with my cell phone. And I still have plenty of room to add a pouch and my keys, hand sanitizer, whatever I choose. It's pretty spacious to be a small bag. All right. Okay, guys, so that wraps up this haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.